In other news tonight, for the first time we are hearing from friends of stuntman Alex Harville. The Efreda man died last week when he crashed while attempting a world record motorcycle jump at the Moses Lake Air Show. Kremtu's Morgan Trow has more now on how Harville's death is impacting motorsports athletes and their goals. Alex Harville's stunts inspired a whole generation of daredevils. One athlete says Harville is the reason he got on the bike, but now he's one of the reasons he is jumping off. The last thing Braden Hallock remembers before the Moses Lake Air Show crash was patting his mentor on the back. I mean, there's probably kids all over the planet that never met Alex that are feeling this just as you know much as I am. The untimely death of stuntman and daredevil Alex Harville has shocked the motorsport community. From fans to competitors to motorsport athletes who looked up to the local celebrity. Hallock says Harville gave him advice for years. He drove 11 hours to watch the stuntman's attempt at a Guinness World Record breaking jump. I just saw the front end coming up and I was just thinking to myself, you know, I just hit the back brake and when I looked up, he was kind of cartwheeling. I knew I knew it wasn't good. Harville came up short on his jump and went over his handlebars. Although we captured the crash, we will not be showing it out of respect for his family and due to its graphic nature. Hallock knows the sport comes with risks, but Harville's death hit hard. We we put the bikes away and, you know, it's been it's been a quiet week. It puts a cloud over over what your purpose is at the end of the day. It's like, you know, you could get in your car and drive down the freeway and something could happen. So but yeah, I will definitely have Alex in the back of my head all the time for sure. He thinks maybe he will get back on the bike, but says Harville's death will forever change how he feels about the sport. And he says he will no longer be attempting extreme jumps. Yeah, Alex Harville was definitely a shining light in a dying sport for sure. He hopes that through this terrible tragedy, some additional safeguards will be put into place, like cushions or making more room to land at the top. I've been in touch with Harville's family and friends who say they are trying to heal, but they're heartbroken. The GoFundMe for his family has raised nearly $100,000. We'll have that link in the articles online. Reporting in the newsroom, Morgan Trow, Crem2 News.